guys, it's Dr. Jackson here from the Sports Pod. Today we're going to talk a little bit about run progressions, uh, especially post ACL surgery. When you get into this phase three of rehab, you're going to start doing some running. And I want to go over some key points of focus here. First, we're going to start off with our posture, what you should look like as far as the run goes, some things that you want to try to prevent. And then also we're going to talk about how to start and stop properly. So we've got a little drill set up here today. So first of all, our posture. What should it look like when we run? First off, we want to have a nice neutral posture. We want a nice open chest, chest up. We want our hips and our shoulders square. If you look from the side, you essentially want your ankle, your knee, your hip, your shoulders, and your ear in alignment. So you should be roughly like this. Now, we want to take into account our arms. What should our arms look like? If you look at from the side, our arms should be roughly 90 degrees. You want your thumbs pointing up like so and then if you look from the front it should be roughly like this so you notice that our chin our nose is all straight parallel in alignment and our arms are to our side like this now when we run we don't want torsional uh, any rotational forces to the torso we want straight up and down you essentially want your elbows to brush through your sides like this come straight up and down I'm not doing this nice straight up and down. The faster you go, the harder you drive your arms. If you're sprinting, your arms should come up to at least parallel, if not higher, like so. And then also, if you look at me from the side, what should your foot look like when you're running? You want to activate your glutes, activate the hamstrings. Keep a nice neutral posture. You want to essentially pull your heel to your butt, like so. This is a basic foot pull mechanics that you want to use when you're running. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do linear running progressions. Obviously you're going to start at a lower intensity and as you get more comfortable and stronger you're going to bump up the intensity, bump up the speed, and you're going to bump up the distance. Obviously if you're a midfielder you're going to do different distances than someone that's playing uh, on the defensive end or if you're a goalie. So we're going to go right here to the cones. We're going to start at just a slow pace. I would say maybe somewhere around like 50% of your max capacity. You're just going to go. And you're going to decelerate nice and slow at the end. I don't want any hard abrupt stops. Okay, no torsional rotation to the torso. Don't flex at your waist. Stand upright, arms driving like so. We'll do one more time just to make sure you got it under control. So that's how you do basic linear running drills. As you get stronger, as you get more comfortable, you want to increase the intensity and the distance. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us on social media right here. If not, have a good one.